is always there. Uh, I call Dr Shane Rezi. Thank you, Madam Chair. Well, Clause 5 very clearly starts to talk to loose leaf. We can see that. It actually talks about smoking. It talks about, about smokes. And that then leads itself to a topic under the terminal exception and statutory defence of smoke, smoke loose leaf. There can be no doubt that this is included in this bill. We know this for any number of reasons. First of all, written parliamentary question to the Minister 489. Will terminally ill cannabis users be able to possess and use cannabis leaf under the Misuse of Drugs Medicinal Cannabis Amendment Bill? The Minister replied, the bill will not restrict the exception and defence to the possession and use of cannabis to any particular dosage form. Secondly, on, uh, in July, the uh, Honourable Paula Bennett asked the Acting Prime Minister and New Zealand First Leader in the House, does he support loose leaf cannabis being available through the Government's Medicinal Cannabis Bill? He declined to refute that. Her next question was the same. Does he support loose leaf cannabis being available through the Government's Medicinal Cannabis Bill? And again, he declined. If there was any further doubt, we see in other clauses that we're authorising or being asked to authorise utensils such as pipes. So absolutely no question. The temporary terminal exception and statutory defence authorises loose leaf cannabis. The question we have is, and what I would put, and I'd challenge the Minister on this, if a patient is started on loose leaf, smoked loose leaf cannabis, under the temporary terminal exception, and the exception then concludes, and the patient has had relief, will the medicinal cannabis scheme stop smoke loose leaf cannabis? Because I would contend, one, that's unethical. If you do a drug trial and a person benefits from the drug, you can't stop the drug. Therefore, the contention is that smoke loose leaf cannabis will extend into the full medicinal cannabis scheme, and the National Party cannot and will not support that. The issues of smoke loose leaf are quite clear. We're concerned for quality. We're concerned for decontaminants. We have some concerns about normalising loose leaf in the community. The referendum will speak to that. Access and affordability have been a concern. Uh, in our hands, we spoke to that across several parts of a medicinal cannabis scheme. Some would say that medicinal cannabis products have a slow dose time response curve that might be a matter of hours, say, for tablets. Correct, and smoke loose leaf may give you that, but so will vape solutions. In fact, if we look overseas at New York and their medicinal cannabis scheme, they forbid smoked loose leaf. So there's certainly international precedent for this. I need to make it very clear, and we should have clear visibility on this, that New Zealand First is supporting loose leaf cannabis. Be in no doubt on several grounds, New Zealand First is supporting loose leaf cannabis. We raised this specifically with New Zealand First at 8.15 on May the 22nd in a formal meeting with Fletcher Tabuto, where I formally met with him for the purpose of discussing their party's approval of loose leaf cannabis in a medicinal cannabis scheme. I gave him all the documents from select committee that was appropriate to give him, all the written questions that showed smoked loose leaf was permissioned in the terminal exception and highly likely to be permissioned in the following medicinal cannabis scheme. At the end of that meeting, Clayton Mitchell came and indicated to Fletcher that he had a following meeting next door. Be in no doubt, New Zealanders who are watching this and the Hansard record it, New Zealand First is supporting loose leaf cannabis, both in the terminal exception and, as I've explained, through to the medicinal cannabis scheme. The questions I then have for the Minister are this. Again, I'd reiterate, patients who are started on smoke loose leaf under the terminal exception who receive relief, will a full-blown medicinal cannabis scheme stop the smoking of loose leaf cannabis for those patients? And the second question, related question, can the Minister promise that a full-blown medicinal cannabis scheme, and here's the pity of not knowing any framework or anything about that, can the Minister promise that a full-blown medicinal cannabis scheme will not have smoked loose leaf? I think those are very important questions for New Zealanders. It answers the question <coughs> that uh, Member Swarbrick raised about decriminalisation or legalisation by stealth. This is a clear example of that legalisation of cannabis by stealth under the guise of medical need. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I call Dr Liz Craig. Thank you, Madam Chair. So I'd just like to take a